Hey golfers out there, it's Mike from Hanson Fitness for Golf and I know it's a bad time of the year. It's a time when the sun sets a lot earlier than it used to. It's a time when it gets colder during the day and early in the morning and it makes it hard to go out and play golf. But as a golf fitness professional and an owner of a golf specific fitness company, I find it's the best time of year to make those changes in your body that you need that's going to help you play when the weather gets nicer, the sun gets up earlier and stays out longer. So I'm going to show you three exercises that you can do starting today that's going to help you in the long run. And they're real simple, you can do them right at home and it's not going to take you long at all either. So let's check those out. All right, so this simple stretch is going to focus on one of the biggest culprits that people with an unstable or inconsistent golf swing have. We're gonna look at the hips. And if you're one that sits at a desk all day or you're in a car a lot, these hip flexors right here get really tight and it really controls the way your hips turn in the golf swing. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna get down on one knee. You can use a pillow or a soft floor and you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna try and squeeze your right butt cheek here and you're going to push your hips forward and you should feel a big stretch right here in the front so you're going to squeeze your butt cheek push your hips forward and hold that stretch for about 60 seconds and you're just going to hold it try and make it as big a stretch as you can if you feel a good stretch but you want a little more you could always raise your hand over your head so take the same hand that's on that same side and raise it up keep squeezing your butt cheeks one of the things that I see our clients make a mistake doing is they want to lean back this way if you feel the stretch in your lower back you're not doing it correctly so make sure you engage that glute I like to say if your belt buckle goes up you're doing the right thing squeeze it hold it for about 60 seconds and and also repeat on the other side that's gonna make a huge difference in the way your hips move and also if you're fighting lower back pain it could also help with that so give that one a try okay so the first stretch was for your hips which I feel are the most important joint to have mobile in your golf swing the second is the second most important joint to have mobile and that's your thoracic spine we get all our mobility from that thoracic spine in the upper back so you're gonna get down on one knee same as position, you're gonna put your hands behind your head this time. Now you're gonna get as tall as you can and you're gonna rotate into that front leg. So you're gonna turn as far as you can go into that leg, keeping your elbows back and your shoulders squeezed and stay tall. I don't wanna see anybody go down this way. So we're gonna turn as far as we can go, hold it for about 10 seconds and then repeat. So this one we're gonna do some 10 second pulses and you're gonna feel a big stretch all throughout your oblique area, your upper back, and that's where we get all our shoulder turn for the golf swing. So give that one a try and see how much better you're turning next year. Okay, so the best thing you can do with your driver this time of year is work on your hip hinging. I know it's not as fun as swinging as hard as you can, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your driver, try and put it on your head and on your butt and you're gonna try and hold it there and then you're gonna flatten your lower back against the club. If you can't get it completely flat right now, that's okay. Just try, the most important thing is that you can get your, the head and your butt on the club the whole time. So what we're gonna do is knees slightly bent. You wanna think about getting into a driver posture and you're gonna go down, letting your knees bend slightly and trying to keep that back against the club. You're gonna go down as far as you feel comfortable and then you're gonna come back up. If you notice, you can see my butt is shifting backwards and I'm hinging down. I like to say, like you feel like you're looking over the edge of a building, so you're, you're going back this way and you're kind of looking to see without, without falling over. So keep that in mind when you're doing that exercise is you're looking over the edge of the building. A lot of times we'll see golfers that, that get their butt too far under this way or they bend their shoulders a lot so if you can start working on that move right now that's going to make a huge difference in the way you can maintain your posture throughout your entire swing all right so there you have it three moves you can do right now that are going to help you when it's time to break the clubs out again so i hope you're as excited now as i am for this time of year try those exercises let us know how you do 
Let us know if you need more. You can always go to our website, HansenFitnessForGolf.com, or check out our Instagram or our Facebook page. We're everywhere on social media with free tips, YouTube channel. It's awesome. So check us out. We'll see you next time.